How is this for some sweet and suspenseful irony? Sister Wife season 15 will premiere this Sunday, which also happens to be Valentine's Day. We'll love being the air for Cody Brown in his four spouses. It sure doesn't seem that way. Back in mid-January, TLC released a trailer for upcoming episodes of this long-running reality series. The footage made it clear at that time that tension between Cody, Janelle, Robin, Christine and Mary is running higher than ever, with nearly no wife happy about the family's move to Arizona. And no wife particularly happy about where things stand with Cody either. How can we work our relationships if we can't even see each other to talk to? Mary Brown wonders at one point, making a reference to the COVID-19 pandemic and necessary quarantine. Due to dangerous circumstances that have enveloped the country for nearly a year now, Janelle is also concerned about COVID-19 spreading amongst her loved ones. She then pointed out that Cody is the only one that's going from home to home, which means that if he ever tests positive, all the Browns could be in trouble. I've been contacting family by phone, Cody said last year, explaining that his large family has stopped gathering amid the outbreak. Me and my wives have done a couple of conference calls and will probably do more where we update each other and everything going on within our family. So what is going on within the family? What can viewers expect from season 15? Let's start with the title of the premiere, Being Strong or Being a Bitch. What the heck, right? Here's the official synopsis. Janelle gathers Cody and the wives to talk about their increasingly tense family dynamic. Cody gets honest and says no longer wants to advocate for polygamy. Robin and Christine open up about their own insecurities as they question everything. Doesn't sound very encouraging, does it, in terms of the family staying together long term? Episode 2 of the season will air on February 21st and be titled Felons No More. Here is the official synopsis. The Browns visit their polygamist friend to discuss the sudden and exciting possibility that polygamy will be decriminalized in Utah. The court trip to get there is a mess, but once there, the excitement is palpable. As for the feuds that will be featured this winter and spring, the awkwardness between Robin and Christine is tangible and teaser. We don't have to do anything together, Christine says on air as Robin looks at her in shock. If you know that she's actually trying to sabotage your relationship with Cody, you can't trust her, Robin says in a follow-up solo confessional. There's also the beef between Mary and Cody, of course, which has been ongoing for… forever. Give or take a few years. I can't make him love me, Mary says about her spiritual husband, while Cody even hesitated to kiss Mary during a picnic date. Romance and sex are safe for people who are in love, he tells the cameras, actually adding. If Mary and I really wanted to be together, we would. Of course, these episodes were filmed many months ago, and in early December, Mary assured fans that she is very content in her marriage, no matter what you might hear or read otherwise. I'm well aware that we as a family have chosen to put ourselves out there, which in turn brings about all kinds of speculation, commentary and opinions, she wrote two months ago. Mary then added, But it comes down to this. My relationship with him is my relationship with him. Sure, we've had ups and downs through the years. I mean, isn't that somewhat normal? High highs and low lows, all of which you get to see some of and speculate on. And that's okay, you do you, boo. In conclusion, here's my truth. I love him, I love my family, I'm committed, I have 30 years in this, we struggle, we communicate, we repair relationships as the parties involved are willing and able. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.